What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have my Readorama Round 13 TBR. Readorama is a readathon that I've been co-hosting along with Chloe from Burnett Bibliophile, April, Sarah, and Gwen. And this round is happening this week. It is the 18th through the 24th and I have my TBR for you guys. Today's video was supposed to be my July wrap up but I don't have the first half of it, so I'm gonna have to go and film that, so it'll probably be up on Friday. But today I have my Readorama TBR, and I was so set on it, but now I'm just not sure. So I just have a couple books, and we're just going to mood read basically because I am in a reading slump from the reading rush, and I just have no idea what. I want to read, like I have no desire to read and it's horrible because Arc August is happening and it was supposed to be lit and I had my whole TBR set and so now it's failing me. Um, this week is going to be a little bit busy for me because I do actually move into school on the 23rd so we'll see what happens with that. I do have some audiobooks, audio has just been helping me a lot so hopefully I will get a lot of reading done through audio. But here is my TBR. We do have a bingo board and everything will be linked down below. Follow us on Twitter and everything like that and let's get into the video. Hey guys, editing me here. I just have an announcement really quick that on Saturday, Gwen is going to be hosting a Twitter sprint and it is going to be a book scavenger hunt, kind of like the reading rush if you saw that. We're implementing that into Readorama, so definitely go over to our Twitter at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Gwen is going to be giving away something special, so I highly recommend for you to go over there. I love doing the scavenger hunt. It's going to be so fun, and I highly recommend for you guys to go over and do that. Um, and yeah, that's like the big announcement. We as a readathon are also doing a giveaway, so if you haven't entered yet, I will have the link down below. And those are basically the announcements, but I also wanted to say if you are here as a new subscriber, hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. I just gained us shit ton of subscribers so I just wanted to say hi and I will have normal me videos coming soon um but yeah that's my announcements for now thank you for subscribing hi <laughs> and let's get back to me and my TBR and if you have a TBR link it down below so I can go and watch it or look at it read it any way you posted and yeah, let's get into my TBR. So the first challenge is to read an own voices book. And this actually completes two challenges. The other one is to read a book with Rama in the title or author. And I have Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. This has Rama, R-A-M-A in Ramona. And this is an own voices novel from Julie Murphy is own voices for bisexual representation, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about this and I am so glad to finally get it. I haven't actually ever finished a Julie Murphy book. I read some of Dumplin', but I never really got around to completing it. And because the movie came out, I don't really have the desire to read it again, but let's see how I do with this one. Next is to read a host pick and I'm going with Gwen's pick, which is Hold Still by Nina LaCour. And this is going to be doubling up for the challenge to read a book in a non-traditional format, which is going to be audio. Next is to read a backlist book, and this means to read a book that was published before 2019. And I have two for this, I'm not sure which one I'm going to read, but I want to read both. So I have Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lincott, and I just want to read this. I've always wanted to read it since I bought it, and I haven't gotten around to it. It's pretty short, I'm excited, maybe I'll watch the movie too. Next I have Queer There and Everywhere, which is a non-fiction book just about 23 people who changed the world. I'm trying to complete the A to Z yearly challenge and I have Q to fill in, so that is mainly what I need, but I also need five more, so I just need to keep playing it and hopefully I will finish it in the next few months. So either of these are going to work, I'm just not sure. We'll see what I'm in the mood for. Next is to read a standalone and I have three books I'm contemplating reading. So first I have Shug by Jenny Han because it's a middle grade and it's short. Next I have Gut Check by Eric Kester which is a book for Arc August that I never actually read and it recently came out. Um, and then I have The Shortest Distance Between Love and Hate by Sandy Hall which I still have not yet read either. So one of these can work. 
I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Next is to read a book with your favorite color on the cover and my favorite color is actually red and I'm going with Ink Mistress by Audrey Colhurst of Ice and Shadows just came out and I still haven't read this and I need to read it. If you didn't know, this is the prequel to A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colhurst. I could possibly listen to the audio. Chelsea Dolling reads. She said that she really liked the audio and I am just excited to read this. I love Audrey. She's one of my favorite authors and I just love this series. So hopefully when I finish this, I'll be able to read Of Ice and Shadows in this month. I probably won't, but I just am excited to read it. <laughs> Next is to read your favorite genre and if you're new here my favorite genre is contemporary or graphic novels if that's even a genre um I kind of consider it one but the book I'm going with is a book that I just did a books for trade for and this is Small Town Hearts by Lily Vale. This is a queer contemporary I'm excited to read it. I'll probably start out the readathon with this but I'm really excited to read it. Next is to read a book from your TBR and this is the Rainbow Reads book of the month. Rainbow Reads is an LGBTQ plus book club that I host. All the links are always down below. And this month we are reading Like a Love Story and I have the audio for this so I will also be listening to it on audio. I'm really excited. This is a historical fiction and it tackles AIDS and everything like that so I am super excited. I have said excited way too much in this video, but I'm excited for Readorama. I hope you guys are as well. Let me know if you are participating. Don't forget to put your TBR down below in any platform that you posted it. I cannot wait for this. I'm so excited. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time.